Today, I'm once again going to be controlling WWE 2K19 using only my voice. I say once again because this is not the first time I've programmed this game to obey my every command. Today's challenge, however, is way different. Because if I say the name of any participant in this Royal Rumble, my game will instantly crash and I'll have to start over again. Would you like an example? Of course you would. Hello there, game. Close enough. <laughs> Let's try... Hands are here, by the way. Roman. You know, it's not even going to load up all the way. John. <laughs> Loading back up again. Hmm. Danger. Okay. I will have three attempts to complete this challenge. And if I do not, I will give something away at the end of the video. I don't know how I'm going to just remember not to say people's names. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I gotta make sure I'm in the right state of mind, so I gotta go ahead and grab my on it alpha brain. So I just recently added alpha brain into my routine, and it's honestly one of the best decisions I've made in a while. You guys know I keep myself very busy between content, podcasting, training, and the bane of my existence, editing. I mean, there's times where editing a video takes me literally hours, and my mind just jumps all over the place. Maybe go watch a stream. Hey, what's going on on Twitter? It can be very hard to focus with 500 different things going on, and that's exactly where Alpha Brain comes in. It uses nootropic ingredients to support memory, flow state, mental speed, all that stuff. It really just helps your brain fire on all cylinders, and in this line of work, that's a game changer. And guess what? You can use my promo code DankOps on their website right now and try some Alpha Brain for yourself. Thank you once again to Onnit for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, it's time to rumble Alpha Style. Okay, voice recognition is on. The rumble is loading, and I'm nervous. <laughs> we got a number one. Oh, it's the almighty one. This guy with the pecs and the butt, and he bends over with the butt. I believe his full name might be Robert. Don't worry about his last name. And at number two, who's this man going up against? The one and the only. I'm going to be using a lot of nicknames today. Oh, the Viper! RKO! Future Hall of Famer, son of the cowboy. <laughs> this the snake man. We got RKO, and we got the... the... I didn't... Wait, did I say John? Wow, I really have to articulate. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's one. <laughs> oh, I gotta set the whole effing rumble up again. I forgot. <laughs> Please do not try this at home. Agreed. Let's run it. I will articulate my verbiage. Who is cu- I didn't say Edge! Oh my god. I will articulate. You got that? And then just Edge, that's all you caught from the sentence that I said? I feel like there's a little bit of a conspiracy going on, but that's fine. I will not allow this game to screw me. No. Final attempt. Who's first? Who do we got coming out? to the ring as I speak clearly one half of the brothers who tag team often down since day one ish his name's on the screen <laughs> our second participant in the Royal Rumble oh it's the beast the beast incarnate. The person who defeated the streak of a dead man. And we are actually fighting Wham over the head, belly to belly. Stop chanting his name. If if the mic picks up, the crowd chanting this man's name, I will lose my mind. Big punches from the incarnation. And we are a few seconds away from our next participant in the Royal Rumble. Who is it? It thinks I said Lashley. When I said, who is it? Run it, run it, let's go, run it, run it. Let's try one more. <laughs> We have a man in AEW and one of the greatest managers to ever exist. He's got a big brain and he's headlocking. <laughs> Come on, man. 
<laughs> Let me do this damn video. At number three, a man also in AEW with the white pants. Man in white pants going after brain. Neck breaker from brain. Ooh, double team. Oh my goodness, look at that. They work together in real life. They work together in the game. You love to see it. Okay. So far, so good. And up. What? And number four. The man behind the commentary table. He doesn't have a nickname. <laughs> so far, so good. So good. That doesn't sound like anybody's name. So good. This is going so good. Except Bobby. I said Bobby. <laughs> See, now that one was on me. Shit. Okay, no, that's cool. See, that's fine. That's fine because I did it. Because I did it. So that's our first actual strike. I don't know how many, like, total strikes we have. I don't think we need to keep track of that. I'm noticing, actually, as I'm looking at the thing, I thought maybe the slower I talked, the better if I just talk less, whatever. But I'm noticing the quicker I speak, the harder the program has of actually keeping up with what I'm saying and articulating the actual words that are in the sentence. So I think that the movies actually more speak as much as possible and keep the noise moving, keep the words rolling. Because then if I do that, it doesn't have a chance to actually see what kind of words I'm saying. So now he gets hit in the back of the head. He's got a Band-Aid on his face. We're trying to figure out why that is. And we're just five seconds away from our next participant. I don't know how long I can keep this up for, but we're about to find out. This man, Dwayne, is on the is on the bottom now. He's going over. AEW World Heavyweight Champion coming out on number three. And now he's down on the bottom. He's got the elbow pad on. Sometimes he takes the elbow pad off when he does move, throws the thing. The elbow pad comes on, stays on. Oh, look at the hangman. Oh, no. I know. Hangman. I didn't put hangman. 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 I used his real name. I used real names because technically that's not his name. Technically that's a nickname. And he's out of the ring anyway. Doesn't matter. Oh, my God. We're finally moving. We're finally moving. Six seconds. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. We got a big move coming up. He's going to grab his wrist. He's going to twist it. And now we got number four. One of the best. Rest in peace to a legend at number four. Look at this number four coming in. He's about to hit the ring at number four. And with the fourth participant, he is number four with the Dark Order. <sighs> spinny, 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 spinny. And down he goes. And here comes the big man coming over. The other big man tosses big man across the ring. Big beardy number one. Gonna grapple with him. He's got him close to the ropes. Doesn't want to get him over the ropes, but he is over the ropes now. Is he gonna take him down? Yes, he does. The exalted one with the elimination. And now Dwayne on the outside of the ring. We got one second. Who is it gonna? You know, at number five, it's gonna. I don't even want to say the letter. I don't even say that vowel. I'm not even gonna say that vowel. I'm gonna let the vowel live where it is. Because here comes the one and only, the man. He's got a letter in the alphabet in his name. And he's trying to eliminate Dwayne. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. As we wait the arrival of our next participant, it's actually going to be number six. And this man likes to run around with a whole lot with a snake. He did a snake. He had a DDT. He hit the DDT. He actually popularized the DDT. Because really before him, really nobody was using DDT. All of a sudden, he has DDT as finisher. And everybody's got DDT now. But kicking out DDTs, do 360 DDTs. We can do moonsault DDTs, super springboard DDTs, all this. And it wouldn't happen without this man at number six, the snake man. A man with a snake. Side rush and leg sweep. By the Snake Man. Snake Man slithering now with the black pants and the yellow and the red. Personally, I prefer I prefer green trunks. I'm a green trunk Snake Man kind of guy. You might not be that kind of guy or gal, but I am that kind of guy or gal. And here we go now. We got number seven. One half of a tag team. What's the tag team's name? Authors of Pain. <laughs> oh, wait. That is not an author of pain. He is not a pain author. He is a straight edge societal member. Uh... He is a member, Chicagoian, tattooed, recently returned to the ring after seven years. You imagine being away from the ring after seven years? That's actually kind of crazy. I can't believe how well this is going. Oh my God, at number eight, it is the man with the Z in his name. He's got the biggest, oh my God, A, B, C, D. I was about to say letter, more letters of the alphabet, but that would not be a good idea. He's here to show the world. He's here to show the world. Come on. He pointing at him, clapping, and we're doing the taunts. Punching each other, that's what I want. We got this man down bottom and he's under the rope. We got the exalted one. Oh, 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 let's go. And caught in a rope and a punch. We got the punch. Nine seconds and we do another one. 
I'm beating this little program's ass because I figured it out. I gotta keep on talking fast. That's what I'm gonna do. Cole Quip. I didn't put his name in. I didn't put his name in. <laughs> okay, I, I did not put his name in the list because I did not think that the man would be participating in a rumble. And that's fine because that's not his name anyway. His name is something whole, etc. My career viewers will know exactly what I mean. Look at the Snake Man going right after Straight Edge. Snake Man and Straight Edge in the corner. Straight Edge with the flip. Snake Man's in trouble. We got the Snake Man hanging on by a thread. And the Exalted One. Oh my God. He's over his head. He's going over the ropes. And bye bye. Exalted One. Number 10. It's you know who. Man who put help keep and put WCW on the map. And he's now in all elite wrestling. Still going. New day, shouting out. Love to see it. Slowing it down a little bit. Snake man. I'm looking over this program and it's having a hard time keeping up. Because I'm too quick and I'm too slick. And I'm so sick. Look at the man with the painted face. Oh, down goes the snake man. And we got Quinny boy on the ropes. And he's, nope, no, no. Oh, at number 11, the excellence of execution, the best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Very illustrious wrestling family. Oh, and now he's going after a big beefy, big meaty man slapping me down goes the excellence. Z-Man <laughs> is also fighting in this match as is straight edge. Here comes Painty Face. Oh, Snakeman takes down Painty Face. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds, then four seconds, then three seconds, then two seconds, then one second. That's usually how the clock goes, usually how time goes. And the number 12, one of the best to ever do it. Olympic gold medalist, it's true, it's true. He had the Olympic medal with a broken freaking neck. He broke the, that's not, that's Tony Khan. I can say his name because he's definitely not on the list. <laughs> Tony Khan. As the Snakeman's out. Tony, what are you doing here? He has infiltrated the Rumble. Scouting some talent. Oh, Straight Edge is going to try to take out Tony Khan. With the help of Face Paint. Face Paint, Straight Edge. Oh, can't take him out. Tony too powerful. Tony too powerful for you. Here comes Straight Edge trying to eliminate this guy. And he does. We got Tombstone. Oh, my goodness gracious. Who the hell could possibly be coming out next at number 13? I can't believe we've made it this far. It's the, the largest man in existence. Eighth wonder of the world. He's a big, big man. A large, big man. <laughs> and he's stuck in the ropes. He's stuck. That's how big he is. It's okay. He's ready. He is ready. Big elbow to the back of the Zags. Oh. What if I just make noises? Huh. 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 Ha! 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 Tony Khan! Who's next? Oh, Machka! Machka! You may know him as Miro. No, that... Wrong guy. <laughs> Tony Khan's in trouble from face paint. Face paint trying to take him out. Big, big boy trying to take out straight edge. And we got a uh, 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 Jack Hammer. I don't know. At number 15. Oh, there goes straight edge. He's the husband of Maria. Thank God that didn't get anything. Oh, big clothesline there from Big Meaty Man. Big Meaty Man going for some stomps on Baldy. Baldy's in trouble. Big Meaty Man and Baldy going at it. It's two Big Meaty slapping meat. Man, Tombstone again as the big man's in the corner. Another big man in the corner. Here comes Baldy with a shoulder tackle. Baldy with another shoulder tackle. Double time. Baldy with a triple two time shoulder tackle as the face paint man goes. Woo. <laughs> Here comes Tony God. Maria's husband down for the count. Whew. I got it now. I got it now. Oh, at number 16, we got a we got a double appearance two time. Oh, he's going right at oh, I thought he was going after Maria's husband, but he appears to be going after the big big man Tony Khan holding holding on by a by a thread. Thread the needle. Oh, Maria's husband going after the big man, and that's not gonna help. Face paint 
gets taken down by Tony Khan. Baldy and the Exalted One going at it. But who's going to be up next in this Royal Rumble? Oh! The Awesome One! He came to play, play. It's a price to pay. And I'm going to tell you to get down on your knees and pray. Just say goodbye to the good old days. And oh, oh, Tony Khan! Tony Khan is gone. We are more than halfway through this Royal Rumble. I haven't said anybody. Okay, there goes face paint. I haven't said anybody's name yet. I've been very articulate. The faster you talk, I know it's so the harder that's keep it up. What are you saying? So we're gonna keep it, keep the speed up, keep the pace, keep the flow, keep the, the excellence of execution. Power bomb from the exalted one. Number 18, adrenaline in my soul. Ain't gonna say his name, booty hole. Here comes the man with the golden shovel. The son of the son of the plumber. Hardly know her, and he's going after Baldy. Oh. Oh. Uh. Huh. 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 No way. No way the son of the son of the plumber is gonna eliminate Baldy, and he's not. And he's not. Oh! Maria's husband eliminated by the big man. The exalted one trying to hang on here. Oh, big man can't be taken out. Even the golden shovel can't dig him out of the rope. Who is this? What is this? Non-playable character. Oh, he's invisible. You can't see him. But the big man can. The big man can see him. Big man, can he eliminate the exalted one? No, it does not seem like it. At number 20 in the other half. Of the, of the, I can't forget her damn name. Oh, there's a pain. Psych. The American Dragon. We've made it so far in this rumble. Now the American Dragon plants the awesome one. We're doing great. Let's keep it moving. Oh my goodness gracious. Talk it fast. Here we go. Dragon taking down Baldy. And now the exalted one with the big man in the corner. Oh, the dragon's going after the invisible guy. Dragon and invisible guy. Dragon, invisible guy. Dragon, invisible man. It's the dragon. And there goes the exalted one. The dragon having trouble trying to eliminate this invisible person. Can he get him out? Invisible person. Oh, hangs on. Hangs on. At number 21, check this out. Oh! <laughs> the American dragon slipped and fell. And he's out of the Royal Rumble. Oh my God. The invisible man is still here. Baldy was going after him. Oh, the big man wants him. The big man does not like having somebody he can't see. And he might be headed out to pasture to greener. Oh no. Invisible man with the reversal. No way, invisible man. Oh, reversal. Huh? Huh? And number 22. Can't say his name. He's aquatic. Never mind. He's Kenny Omega. Oh, and Kenny with the elimination on Baldy. Nicely done by Kenny Omega. Thankfully, his name doesn't sound like anybody else's name. The awesome one. Oh, it's the low blow on Omega. The big man is about to be eliminated by the invisible guy. And at number 23, oh, oh, foundation member, uh, dog, <laughs> UK dog, the UK dog. We're getting down to the wire here. Oh my God. You know, it's all about the chugs as chugs. Wait, okay. Okay. I didn't think it was, wait. Okay, so see, okay, so a couple things are going on here. First of all, yes, that's Chugs. Th okay, he slipped. I think Chugs is fighting the Invisible Man. That's number one. Uh, Chugs is in an alternate attire for something that I never ended up doing. Oh my God! What a maneuver now. Look at Chugs and Kenny. Chugs and Kenny. Knees weak, arms are heavy. That invisible man is freaking me out because I'll just I forget he's there and then he just then someone just falls flat on their face and I'm like, what the hell? Number 25 from Texas. Maybe. Due to his name. Oh. I thought I was gonna think I said the big red machine. Chugs though. Chugs has the awesome one. Here comes Chugs with the no! Can't get the elimination! Can't get the elimination. Check out Omega. Check out Omega here going right after Chugs. 
Texas. Oh, back body drop. Oh, big elimination from the big man. We got a double team now. Kenny Omega and the big man trying to take out the awesome one. Kenny Omega, big man, awesome one. Kenny Omega, big man, awesome one. They got to take out the awesome one. Is he awesome? Is he awesome enough to stay in the ring? Oh, my God, he did. Oh, but there goes Mr. Texas. Ooh, and there goes the UK puppy. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, we're going, moving on. Got to keep it moving fast. Got to keep it moving fast. Talk it just crashed because it crashed. <laughs> Chris Danger was about to come out. Game couldn't handle it. Too much sauce. And it crashes on its own. <sighs> Ain't that some shit. <laughs> well, we made it to 26, so we didn't completely get the job done. That means I gotta give something away, and I'm giving away... What am I giving away? This little page thing. Put in the comments, say, uh, I, I... Tell me who, say who your favorite Rumble entrant was and say, I want the page thing. And I'll contact somebody and you also need the page thing. Merry Christmas. All right. Bye. <laughs>